All right, let's uh, look at question 22. There's a lucky number 22. On a large grid, rows and columns are numbered as shown. Okay. All squares in row one are shaded. Every second square in row two is shaded. See that? Every third square in row three is shaded. And so on, yeah? So what does that mean for row four? Hmm? Does that make sense? What does it mean for row four? What is the rule for row four? So every fourth square is shaded, yeah? What's the rule for row five? Every fifth. So it's on the row n, it's every n for it's shaded, right? Stop making a noise. Go away. Okay, so in column six, as a result, each column has certain squares shaded, yeah? Yeah. For example, in column six, are the three shaded squares in column six are the three squares shown, and one more in row six. Uh, okay, well, that's kind of a dumb example. They, you can't even see it, okay? So it's saying that in column six, like here, there's there's those three and then there's one more at the top, yeah? Okay. In column 105, how many squares are shaded? Oh. It's kind of funny. At first you might think there could be infinite number of squares, right? But the reason it's not infinite Maybe I'll ask you why it's not infinite. Anyway, do you know what the question is asking? You don't know what the question is asking. So what are you doing about that now? I don't understand it. Do you know what the word column means? Because that would really help. Okay, this is column 20, yeah? So the, the, I could ask you how many squares are shaded in column 20? Yeah? But the actual question is how many squares in column 105 are shaded? You understand? Hmm. I think some of you, I think maybe you're being a little bit lazy, okay? Because I feel like it's very easy just to sit there and watch, okay? But you, you really need to interact, okay? The problem doesn't disappear when the time runs out, do you understand? It's the same problem. So at some point you're gonna to have to like learn. Okay, you can't just do the same thing over and over again and think you're making a difference. Because I'm telling you about asking questions and all that stuff, and you're not really changing. Okay. Do you understand what the question is asking you? Yes?
I see a pattern. Mm -hmm. Well, how many how many squares are in column twenty are shaded? Three. That's 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 not true. It's only you can see three. What about up? If you go keep going higher. Can you tell me which columns have which rows have a have a shaded square on column twenty? So you got row one, yeah? Row two. Row four. Yeah? What what about row five? Does that have a square or not? Yes or no? Huh? Who says yes? Who says no? Why does row five not have a square on column twenty? Hmm? Row five has a square every five, right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah. Oh yeah. So row five does have a square on column twenty. Yeah. What about row six? Does row six have a square on column twenty or not? Yes or no? Commit to it. Be 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 brave enough to be wrong. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? Okay, you're all wrong, yeah? Well, that's good. It's better to be right or wrong because you get feedback than just to be like, you think you're always right because you never really commit to the wrong answer. And someone says that and then you agree with it. It doesn't make any, doesn't make any sense. There's no, there's no six. Six is six, 12, 18, it skips 20, right? Yeah? 
Okay, what about row seven? Is there a square on column 20 in row seven? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes or no? No. Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, so there's not because seven goes seven, 14, 21, right? It skips 20. Okay, is there a square in row eight? No. Okay, there isn't, right? Because it goes to 24, 16, 24, yeah? Is there, what other squares, which other rows have squares that are in column 20, shaded? 10. 10, yeah? Because yeah. it goes to every 10, yeah? 2. 2, we already got 2, it's on the bottom, yeah? What else? Yeah, we already got that, right? So there's only one, yeah, 20, yeah, that's the only one we haven't got. So can you see the pattern now? So what? So what makes a square shaded in column 20? What's the criteria? What's the pattern? So the number of the row has to divide the number, right? That makes sense? So your column number has to be a multiple of the row number. Yeah? Yeah? So so the, the number of factors of 20 is exactly how many squares are shaded. Yeah? You understand? Okay, so how do you figure it out for 105? 'm because one um, yeah the so one is always there you can see that it's all yeah. green there's also um there's also a square on column five. I don't, I don't like this silence, okay? I feel like you just don't understand what's going on, and there's lots of reasons that could be, but some of those reasons should lead to questions. So I just said something I feel like pretty devastating, that it's the factors of the number that determine how many squares are shaded, right? And once I said that, no one said anything, okay? So you just didn't understand what I said, right? Well, you might not even heard what I said, but you just didn't give me any feedback at all. So that, that's called very passive learning, you understand? If, if you want to learn like that, you could just watch a video. You don't even need to be here. You know what I'm saying? The whole point of the interaction is to, is to interact, is to give feedback, okay? Okay, so in column 105, can you name a row that's shaded? Okay, and when you name them all, then you have all of the, you have all the, the answer, you just count them. So in row one of, in column 105, yeah? 105. 
So one five. What else? Three. Oh wait, I think I recognize something. Oh yeah, I recognize something. So one of five can't be the visible by to the like it isn't a cube on the uh, uh, even number, so it always skips the even number. Yeah, so 1 and 5 is odd, so it can't have any even factors, right? Yeah, so... That means we only have option A. Option A and E? Why? No, 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 it can't have even numbers as a factor. It doesn't mean the number of factors is not even, yeah? So we're counting the number of factors. We've got one, three, five so far, yeah? We know two and four don't work. We know six doesn't work, yeah? What other factors are there? And you can even write, so one times 105, yeah? Five times 21, three times 35, yeah? T is also one. Oh, you said seven, right? Seven times what? Five times seven times twenty-one. Seven times fifteen. Yeah. So all of these other numbers are also answers as well, right? Fifteen. Yeah. What is fifteen times seven? Yeah. What else? Anything else? Oh wait. You can also just do the exact opposite. So, like 35, 21, and 105. Yeah. Those so, if you increase 7, right? If 7 goes, to, 7 goes to 9, yeah? 15 has to come down, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, but we know this is not divisible by 9, right? And we know it's not divisible by 11, yeah? Okay. So, so it can't be 13 times something unless it's 13 times 13 which is not what it is right so this must be all the factors in some 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 sense yeah but how many factors are there <sighs> oh. How many factors are there? So actually one thing you know that if the number is not a square number, okay, so this 105 is not a square number, you see that? Square number is like 100 and it's like 121, yeah? 11 squared is 121, 10 squared is 100, yeah? So 105 is not a square number. Only square numbers have an odd number of factors, okay? So normal numbers have an even number of factors. Now, the reason is because every every factor, you have the other thing that's also a factor, right? If you have 1, you also get 105, yeah? If you have 5, you also get 21. So they always come in pairs, okay? So how many factors are there altogether? So how many can you can you count? Is it obviously does it rule out any of the answers? <sighs> hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It can't be row 9. Yeah. But how many factors are listed at the moment? It can't be row 11. What? No, 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 no. You're not understanding. Which four are you talking about? One, three, five, seven? That's one, five, three, seven. That's four, yeah? yeah? But I kept telling you this other four. You're not listening to me. I always had these four, yeah? Yeah? You just ignored me for like 10 minutes. See, 105 is a factor of 105, right? 21 is a factor of 105. 35 is a factor of 105. Yeah? So how many factors are already listed there? How many factors are here at the moment? Eight. There's eight blue ticks, yeah? Yeah, eight. So the answer can't be A or B, right? So it could be more. Could there be more? That's the question, yeah? If you're listening, I kind of already answered the question, but I'm pretty sure you, you didn't even you know there was eight factors at the moment, so... See, we know there's. Can, we, can you see why there's no factors between one hundred five and twenty one? Because one times one hundred five and five times twenty one are the same number. So if there's anything between one hundred five and twenty one, you have to get a number between one and five. Sorry, sorry. There's no numbers between thirty five and one hundred five. Yeah. Because any number between thirty five and one hundred five have to give you a number between one and three on the other side. Yeah. And we know 2 is not a factor. But it can also be 2 and 2, and then be 7 and 4. So can you see if, if you if you increase if it goes if you get a factor bigger than seven on this side, right? Then you get a factor less than fifteen on the other side. Yeah. Right? It can also be in also in row thirty. So the only options you have are 9, 11, or 13, yeah? Right? If none of those are factors, then there's all your factors that are already here. Yeah? So how do you know 9 is not a factor? Because... Uh, if it's 9 by 10, it's 9. 99. Yeah. Plus one more nine, it'll be more than 100. Okay, very good. Okay, and a quick way to see that nine is not a factor of a number is add the digits up as well. It's not divisible by nine. Okay, but that's a good reason. So if nine is not a factor, it can only be 11 or 13, right? Is 11 a factor? No. Why? Because if you. So if you times 11 by 10, you get 110. So 
Yeah. Okay. Good. You get 110, and 110 is too close to 105. Yeah. Yeah. And it's same for 13. Okay. How does 13 work? Uh, same. We have it. 13. But then. Yeah. It would be yeah. Okay. So the answer is eight then, right? Okay. So this thing about asking questions every every segment is not being done at all. Okay. So you should think about asking a question. I'll give you ten seconds to ask a question. Okay, nothing. Excellent. I wish she would ask some questions. So I think the answer was the answer C, yeah? Yeah.